The government may map out its stance on political reform. California Fitness accused of excessive personal data collection, and Joe Biden speaks out against China's new defense zone. Good evening. Chief Secretary for Administration Carrie Lam said today the government may outline its stance during the public consultation on political reform. And as Jenny Lam reports, debate rages on just how many candidates can run in the 2017 chief executive election. The Office of the Privacy Commissioner for Personal Data has found that fitness chain California Fitness breached data protection laws by excessively collecting the personal information of its members. But as Rani Santani reports, California Fitness plans to appeal. Police say they have smashed the gang that operated Hong Kong's largest pornographic website. Officers arrested 114 people, among them 78 sex workers from the mainland. Police and immigration department officers searched 38 locations, including the headquarters of the gang. They collected evidence such as computer data and 3.2 million dollars in cash. The gang is suspected to have been managing the website. It's accused of providing illegal prostitution on an on-call basis and making a profit by charging the sex workers. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden says China's new air defense zone over the East China Sea has caused significant unease in the region. Biden was in Beijing for talks with mainland leaders. Alan Buchner reports. The King of Thailand has called for unity and stability as he made an address to the nation on his birthday. The country is marking the 86th birthday of the revered monarch amid a truce after days of violent anti-government protests in Bangkok. Tony Saban reports. A missing shipment of highly radioactive material has been found in a rural field in central Mexico. The United Nations said the material, cobalt 60, could provide an ingredient for a dirty bomb. The missing shipment was being transported to a nuclear waste facility. The truck that was carrying it was stolen on Monday and was found nearby. The thieves had removed the cobalt 60 from its container. One official said anyone involved in opening the box could be in grave danger of dying within days. Authorities say they believe the ro robbers were not after the Cobalt 60, but were probably more interested in the cargo van that had a movable platform and crane. Authorities in Argentina's second-largest city have announced a steep pay rise for striking police. It follows a wave of looting and robberies across Cordoba, resulting in at least three deaths and 60 injuries. The sit-in by police triggered hours of looting and vigilante mobs trying to protect their neighborhoods. Afterwards, the provincial government agreed to the officers' demands and peace returned to the streets. Back locally now, a Kowloon City District Councilor has been jailed for two months for indecent assault for kissing a married woman without her consent. Rachel Long reports. In sports now, Everton scored a late goal to beat Manchester United 1-0 at Old Trafford. The loss dropped United to ninth in the English Premier League. Jameson Wong has more. Ireland's David Higgins has the lead after the first round of the Hong Kong Open at Fan Ning. Tonight's winning mark six numbers are one, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-six, forty-six, and the extra number is twenty-nine. And the weather clear and dry, cool with some haze tomorrow morning. Temperatures will range between 16 and 22 degrees. And that's the news. Good night.